where we're working today. Crikey, is there a tractor down the bottom of the garden? Crikey. If I could have had one thing from this clearance, it would be this. It needs a mains leaf fit in, but it's a beautiful record cabinet. Look at that. What a day. It's been mental. I've been clearing a house for the hospice. One of the most beautiful places in Cornwall. And now I'm just heading to find the baby, the mummy, and we're going to do some shopping. I love this little boat in Lake Garden. It's a bit unkempt, but I really do like it. It's kind of cool. It obviously was quite nice at some point. Now it's just kind of a cut through. A lot of homeless people sleep here. But they got to sleep somewhere, haven't they? I'm glad I got two days off. One day, like I said, it's nursery alley day and a bit more shopping. And the second day is uh, dad day. Yeah, dad day. So our recycling rules around here are pretty strict. You've got these three, three bags and one crate that you can fill up with your card and plastic and whatever, and put it out on a two weekly basis. Now ours got collected yesterday, and we had used so much plastic last week that we had to put it into another bin bag and our plastic is already full. And now we've got two weeks before it's collected again, which is bonkers. So we've made a conscious decision to try and reduce our plastic amount. So why we had so much plastic before was we were shopping for our vegetables at Lidl. And Lidl, everything is wrapped in plastic. At, we, it's cheap, it's wonderful for the price, but uh, it's so, so... Little dance interlude. <laughs> you dancing? Yeah! <laughs> Everything's wrapped in plastic though, and it doesn't need to be. Like, cucumbers are wrapped in plastic, spring onions are wrapped in plastic. So what we're going to do is, this week we're going to try shopping at our local fruit and veg places. Uh, in Penzance and in Newlyn and try and cut down on that basically because like I said we've got two weeks to wait and fill it up with other plastic before it's collected but our general rubbish has oh. come down yeah yeah our general rubbish has actually reduced we've only got one of those for a whole week I think we could even get that lower when we start composting because a lot of it is veg peelings yeah and nappies that's the other thing so when Ali's potty trained which we're getting there with. Which we're getting there with. Much reduced, I imagine. Let's see how we do, anyway. Got two weeks. There's another new addition to the garden. A little box with some little plants and some pansies in. I was like, no. We've like just it. seen a seal in the harbour. There's a regular one that comes and bugs all the fishermen. I've seen some video of it online. A guy called Lawrence Hartwell filmed him. But he's out there somewhere. Being cheeky. We just see him pop up a minute ago. He's uh, gone under for a bit. Hello, cheeky face. <laughs> Are you climbing? Yeah. Come on then. Two ounces of fat, yeah, two ounces of marsh, two ounces of butter. Typically today, it is decided it's going to chuck it with rain. And as you well know, today was the day I was going to go and skate the skate park near Humphrey Davy School. So instead, I'm going to go and listen to records and actually do some bits towards work. It's my day off, but I want to listen to records and chill. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh dear. It's all right. It's just Matt and Abby. Um, yeah, Bean's gonna go over with Ali to 
little A group and see my mum and I'm going to cook tea. So they'll be dinner ready when they get home. I see my nan as well. Yeah, you're going to see your nan as well. That's right, Ali. She's going to give you big cuddles. Are you going to give her a big cuddle? Yeah. Good. I'm It's not right. So we got here. We're at the skate park. There's fuck all people here. So ideal for me to skate and make a fool of myself. Yay! To be fair, that wasn't too embarrassing. I thought I'd leave that park with a lot more wounds. And then I did also think I was going to drop the ramp, the big vert. It's quite funny, I'm taking the tour bus home. <laughs> it's an open top bus I'm driving to my house. <laughs> this is just the most surreal day. Well somehow I've lagged it so that I did get a decent skate and it's now pouring with rain so it was raining this morning and I got in this little gap of sunshine so today worked out pretty damn fine. I'm back with the boys, there's one of them, just there, moon weirdo, Toby's butt's there. Yeah. So I've now cooking some Satan. Now, I did say in the other week in barbecue rib form. Now, that form I've done several times and the recipe has worked very, very well. Now, this time, however, I'm doing it in the form that failed the first time I did it. So, I'm cooking it in a pot. This is it. It looks like big chunks of cooking beef or chicken. Which I guess is the idea. And then I'm going to turn it into a different form of barbecue, but I've done extra so the other stuff can do other recipes. So I'm quite excited about how it's going to come out. It looks good. It looks like wheat meat. So the results are in and weird. Weird. It looks like I've cooked bits of beef. Like, yeah, it's just jiggly. Jiggle. ASMR Satan. Nanny, Nanny, what was your opinion of the barbecue Satan? I thought the barbecue Satan was lovely. And it was like you say, like those pork rib barbecue <laughs> things we used to get when you were a kid. Yeah. Very like them. What you got there? A pong. What, which one is it? What we have here. It's green. What's his name? Her name? It's... Cinnamon apple. Cinnamon apple. I got the green pool. Cheese.